Welcome back to another guide video. I'm back to share with you some useful combat techniques you should keep in mind in the strongest battlegrounds. Know that this video aims to help with beginners. If you have been playing this game for a while now, don't be surprised if you already know some of them. Let's get into it. Side dashing is one of the first advanced movement technique everyone learns. Of course it should be important. It is an alternative for forward dashing and much more unpredictable as it is a shorter form of forward dashing. Simply knowing how to side dash well in this game will greatly improve your skills. In order to practice this technique, you first simply need to analyze the distance of the side dash, in case if you might be too far for you to side dash and reach your opponent. Do this in your private server. Try to practice side dashing in different distances. I also recommend trying to find mouse sensitivities that work for you. Why is side dashing important? This helps you deal with blocking as with enough side dashing skill, you can catch them from their back and get yourself a hit. Doing it with a forward dash instead will be more predictable, and the opponent can easily track you. Next up is Ragdoll Cancel. Ragdoll Cancel, or your evasive, is how you escape from getting comboed by either side dashing or backwards dashing. It also has a cooldown. Most ordinary people simply just use their evasive and make distance after, but there is a way to use it wisely, like this. This is also a sign for you to be aware if your opponent has Ragdoll Cancel and avoid accidentally using up your moves or even worse, giving a free hit for your opponent. Also, this combo I'm showing you right now is as to what I know, the best true unescapable combo and it's also a Saitama combo. Even if you have Ragdoll Cancel, you won't be able to escape it, it ends your opponent at half health. If you're a Saitama user, I highly recommend you use this combo as your first in a 1v1 as your opponent will always have Ragdoll Cancel the first time you get to combo him. Sorry to break it to you, but these flashy, sweaty combos aren't everything. Trust me, they really aren't everything. Especially for the Hero Hunter because the flashy combos made for it does not really give you much of an advantage or is just too risky to attempt in a real situation. Once you fail the combo, there's no going back and you have to deal with it. It's much better to use simple, easy combos that already give out fairly decent damage. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the most advanced, if not the hardest technique to master for the list of tips and tricks we have today. Pre-blocking is basically, well, pre-blocking. Basically, you are already prepared to block before your opponent attacks. The reason why this is so hard to master is because you can pre-block side dashes as well, and side dashes are fast and a bit hard to predict. Try to practice this with a friend or any other way you want to do it with. Remember, pre-block only if you know a bit of your opponent's playing pattern and that you know he or she is experienced enough to know how to side dash. Don't do this frequently as they might catch on what you're doing and find a plan for how to counter it. This tip might not be related to combat, but it is very important for you to really get better at the game, and that is to fight players much better than you. This way you can learn from them and their playstyle. The more you 1v1 them, the more you are shortening the skill gap between you and the better player. Trust me, it's how some of my friends improved. Don't be a little brat only targeting weak players. Aim for skills instead of kills. 